Hi everyone, Brian from Bearable Traders here. It is Monday, May 13th the evening. Just going to do a market recap just to look at the ETFs specifically and see where money was flowing. It was a, an ugly day today on the markets if you were uh, long a lot of stocks and it was a pretty nice looking day for you if you were short. So uh, let's just go through some of these ETFs here and see where where things are. You can see here a Energy's had a pretty significant pullback and uh, looked like we were going to chop. <clears throat> it is kind of just hanging on by uh, by fingernails at the support here or resistance here. And, uh, you know, we'll see if we get another leg down because if we get another leg down, we're probably looking at, well, maybe 62 and then 61. Pretty significant level of support here. But uh, yeah, energy obviously took it on the chin because uh, if the global economy slows down, energy uh, the energy energy use is lower. Let's take a look. What else? Let's look at the financials here, and you can see we big sell off in the financials. Uh, interest rates moved lower uh, today as well, so you can see here we filled a gap on the financials. So we'll be looking to see if it can hold here. I think that's going to be the story with a lot of these um, ETFs as we go through them. Here's a level of uh, prior resistance, um, and now it's become support, prior resistance here. And yeah, so this is, again, pretty critical to see if it's going to turn here, or if we're going to come down to the 200 day. And if we do, then the next level here is probably 25. 46 our side turning down average volume day um, if you see a uh, um, sort of when everybody gives up it's usually on a volume spike like this looks like a little bit more of a volume spike this is the technology sector it did take a big hit today Apple leading the way lower I think Apple's sort of one of the poster childs of the the tariff uh, trade wars uh, because they are pretty dependent on China and so um, yeah, it got hit pretty hard along with the rest of the technology group. So we're right at an area of uh, support here as well. Um, and we'll see if that can hold or if we're headed for the, say, this 200-day moving average. But uh, definitely this uptrend has been broken. Consumer staples, you can see here we had an inside day. This was a big up day here on Friday, and then uh, we traded with ins inside this candle on today Monday so consumer staples traditionally a place where people go to find safety and uh, safety trade Latin utilities we'll look at the utilities in a minute here but you can kind of see that's where people were probably hiding out we do on the volume wasn't that significant um, our size heading lower in this but this is probably gonna hold up a little bit better in um, the volatile market and uh, don't think there's um, any shortage of news flow coming that's uh, probably going to continue to affect the markets here. And here's XLU. Look at this. Nice uh, nice bounce up day. Uh, and you can see here we're right back at a level of uh, prior resistance. And we could, uh, we could go higher. Again, this is where people are putting their money when their things are getting a little rocky. And volume eh, dropped off a little bit today. 200-day, uh, 50-day, bounced off the 50-day today and came higher. So a uh, nice uh, move on the XLU. If, uh, if you're looking for some place to stake your money, I mean, that's probably a pretty safe bet given all the the, um, the uncertainty we're going to have over the next month or so. Um, here's healthcare. Healthcare uh, was pretty ugly here. You can see here we've got a pretty significant uh, doji started out looked like it was going to go higher and then we sold off pretty much all day finishing pretty close to the low of the day and uh, we still have more room by the looks of it to the downside didn't really do it on volume you always like to see for a big flush you like to see these big volumes come in and that kind of gives you an indication and here's a here's a great reversal um, pattern here you have this monster flush uh, down on volume. You see here's another big flush. Wasn't on volume though. Here's the bigger flush on volume and that's when kind of people everybody throws in the towel and says that's it I'm uh, you know 
and I'm out. It's going down more. And then you get this nice doji reversal candle uh, again on volume. You get the, you know, another sell off, but then it actually comes back to close at or near the high or near the open. And that's pretty good, a uh, pretty solid, um, you know, pattern to trade uh, to the long side. So, if, you know, if we see another day like this where we get a big flush on volume, would be definitely a good time to uh, to get back into the market. Uh, consumer discretionary, again, this is probably going to take a hit because, you know, people do not need to spend money on things that they don't need. If they're getting concerned about their jobs and uh, the economy, they tend to cut back on discretionary spending. So this is obviously one of the areas that probably got uh, the reason it got hit so hard today. Money flowing out of there. Lab D, um, I just kind of stuck that in there. It, it uh, chopped up today on uh, on some increasing volume. RSI heading higher, uh, back at a back at a level of. Uh, Prior, prior support and then it became prior resistance and now we're right back up at that level so maybe we'll get a bit of a pullback here uh, tomorrow and but I'd be uh, this definitely looks like a pattern that maybe wants to trend higher so uh, the biotechs this is the opposite lab you um, heading lower so I would expect maybe a bounce tomorrow and possibly lower maybe fill this gap here um, so that's it, guys uh, and gals. Hope everyone has had a good, uh, good evening. Hope uh, you didn't get too beat up today in the market. And we shall see everybody in the Bear Bowl Trading Room tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning. Don't forget to check out my book if you haven't already. It's on Amazon, How to Swing Trade by Brian Pezum, me. So that's it, everyone. Have a good night. Bye for now.